today's the day we could reach a Champions League final. I, I know I've said it before. Seven years in the Vanarama National, this felt some way away. Let's get involved. Okay, gang, just before, I can't believe it. Just before we delve into the full episode, uh, the game is zoomed in a little bit because I was using display capture rather than game capture. Having found this out, I'm a bit sad, although having watched it back a little bit, it, it's fine. So like, you, it'll be a bit jarring. The game will be a little bit closer. Um, it doesn't affect anything massively other than maybe like the league table at times. But other than that, everything's fine. Um, it's one hell of an episode. Don't let it affect you. It'll, it's just calm. Everything will be fine. Hello there, folks. Welcome back to another video with me, Dr. Bench FM. Good to see you. We're not going to waste much time. Like, we're playing every game at the moment. You're seeing every game after the fantastic episode last time out. Hopefully you saw it where we beat Manchester United 3-1. Having beat Thames 1-0 away from home, that away goal today could be crucial. Looking over at the Thames side of things, they've not got any injuries, so they should be at full strength. And that gives us, that gives us a good test, I'm hoping anyway. Team-wise for it, you're getting familiar with these boys by now, I hope. I, I, would, I would hope so. And again, the summer period could be so exciting if we're to do another season. You never know, viewers. Uh, Jones will be in goal then. Gil, Eddie Elso, Pintado and Brazis at the back. You can see there's so much green happiness going on right now. I'm loving it. Salatiel, Abo and Fernandez. This double Mazala thing is just, just working, man. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Agonovic one side, Randrup the other. Erman Trout's going to get the nod ahead of Ishmael. It's very, very close. The two of them, they're battling game after game after game. I don't think there's a bad choice right now. And that's the that's the joy of it, really. They've played a very similar amount of games. Goal-wise, again, very, very similar. There's there's pros and cons on both sides. Like you're getting better performances from Ishmael, maybe. But the all-round play you get from Amon Trout is why we're going with him in this game. I'm hoping this is quite straightforward. And then we go into a league game versus Everton where we can not necessarily win the league, but we can put a major stamp of certainty on it. I don't know if that means anything. Right, let's get into the game then. Again, you know the boys by now. Of course, this could it could be an end of season bottle job. I'm all too aware. I've not said it until now, but I, I'm very much aware of the history that I have on this channel playing this game and um, anything... Anything could happen. Right. Again, we're going to make sure all the videos go up over the weekend as well. We're going to conclude, no matter what happens, we will conclude this season this weekend. Right. So keep your eyes out for videos. Keep an eye on Twitter for when I tweet it out. Of course, keep an eye on YouTube as well, as I'm sure you will do. Uh, turn on the notifications, viewers, if you haven't already. FM22, we now know is just around the corner. So if you've not seen some of my content on that, whether it be feature, chat, or uh, yeah, the news that they've actually announced when it's coming out, I won't tell you. I won't even tell you when. Go and watch the video. Uh, right then, here we go. Thames versus Thames. Always a good battle. Our record against them has been fantastic, but they've got an early free kick here. And let's hope we're, we're, we seem to be marking everyone other than that man there. The man that's put it into the back of the net and Thames immediately, oh good heavens viewers, immediately get their goal, their away goal to level things up. And I didn't really ever conclude that that could happen. The pressure now feels quite, quite, oh, I think something just came over. I felt it there viewers. Okay, we are now in a position where this is very much ours to lose. If they score again, we're in all sorts of bother, but a throw in. Played into the feet of Randrup, who's back in the side for us today. Of course, Malon had a great time last time as the ball's cleared. And oh my dearie me, they're racing forwards. And we have to be on it here as John Lewis's shot is very wide. <laughs> Quite poor, it must be said. Uh, but we've got to be We've got to have our wits about us here. We can't afford to do anything silly. I'm going to encourage the boys. Again, it's 1 1. We're, we're very much in it. Like the game now is as it was last game. But of course, they've got the goal this time. And we hung on to our 1 0 leads. If they do the same thing, of course, it goes to extra time. It goes to additional moments. Does PSG get a goal in their game over there? What half time? Wow. It's a highlightless game. Very similar to the first leg, but this time around, they have the best of it. You can see, though, they are set quite defensively, whereas we offensively, our shape is really, really good. So I don't think we change too much. Aganovic there has got a little bit of an injury potential groin injury he wants to stay on but the injury is affecting him now DeWitt DeWu is on the bench as is Ishmael so we have options out there of course we've played players in different positions whether it be that pushed up attacking role am I going to do that today I am I am going to do that today again Erman Trout's link up play slightly better so he's going to come out to this side we've actually done that a few times in different ways but I'm starting to understand the team a little better 
as uh, hopefully this left side is catered for. But let's go into it then. We're going to make a big call. Aganovic coming off here. I've told him I'm delighted. I've I've said the wrong thing. I've then said I'm disappointed. Some of them are happy. We're walking out the dressing room, leaving them confused as, uh, as Liverpool have got the goal as well then. We are pushing for a goal playing this. It must be said. We are trying to fight our way back in as quickly as possible. I'm going to demand a little bit more from the boys. We're also going to lower the tempo slightly and work it into the box. I think we're being a little bit too eager. You can see shots on target aren't really happening for us. We've got to try and create something a little bit more meaningful. But this is on a knife's edge right now. And that's the fear as they've got a free kick. 25 yards. Oh, oh my God. Thames FC have waited. They've waited and waited for their moment. And finally, they might have their moment. It's taken them a long time, it feels like, to get to this stage. I'm going to do something a bit crazy here. We're going to play three out front and double attacking Mazala. The free kick is sensational, by the way. What a free kick that is. And now, now we've got it all to do. We've gone for a three-pronged attack. Randrup, who likes to play as that forward, is going to be, is going to be there too. So we've got options. Of course, it, it maybe frustrates our middle area a little bit more. We're going to attack. We're going to have to speed things up a little bit. Maybe work it into the box wasn't the move. But it's a, it's a free kick. It's a set piece that's deflected and a free kick that was sensational. We've got to make a change in midfield. It's it's not going well at all. Um, Elman Trout's had a shocking game. I'm actually going to bring Do It Do on. We're going to go back to this, and we're going to we're going to attack on both sides. Maybe I changed the shape a little too much, having seen it be quite good. I think we've got to go for goals here. A bow as a shadow striker. I think he would like to be there. And in midfield, Tom's going to come on for Fernandez in the centre, who's just going to play as a box to box role now, as our midfield looks a little bit more generic. <sighs> Ten minutes to go. We need two goals. There's no other way of putting it. They've come here to our yard. And they've put in one hell of a shift. And now we have it all to do with not long left to go. Only one shot on target in the game. I said this season could end up being quite the bottle job. And maybe after this game, there'll be one more thing left to do. One goal for us is not enough. As we're defensively trying to win the ball back. Twice we've put tackles in. We haven't got it. And the ball forward is decent. Tom's there though. And maybe this isn't over just yet. As Randrup's going to get on that. We've got to do something now. The, oh, the cross or the shot or whatever it was wasn't so good. It's going to be knocked down a bow. Oh, come on. Okay. Viewers, it's not done yet. It's not done yet. We still need one more goal. A bow rushes it back to the halfway line. I mean, we worked really hard to get the goal. They've, I mean, that there from their goal scorer of the first goal, absolutely shocking. Ishmael does brilliantly to knock it down to a bow who's on hand as the shadow striker. There is not long left to go here at all. Is there to be one final twist in the tail? Oh, dearie me, I'll demand a little bit more if we've got it in us. Of course, they go through on away goals right now. Is there to be the corner? We'll take the highlight at the very least. As the ball's played in and headed away, I, look, we're going to take the highlight. We've got 90 seconds to go as the ball is headed to Randrup, who we know he can pick a pass. He can take a man on. And there has to be a goal for us later here. Surely not, viewers. The drama. Ishmael, he looked offside. He's not offside. Oh, my God. He's done some weird flicking leg thing. Oh, my God. Thames out of nowhere. Oh, the dream was dead. It was over. And out of no, <laughs> out of nothing. Gill's ball in. The, the right back plays him on. Ishmael with the goal. Holy shit, viewers. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Hold on now. Thames. Wow. AFC Thames have won. What just happened there? Oh, my dearie me. We're in the final. I don't care who we play. How on earth? How on earth have we done that? Flipping heck. We will go to a Champions League final. We will play Liverpool in that final, who have had a man sent off late on as well. He's one of their most better, one of their better defenders too, and he's not going to feature. Bloody hell, viewers! What on earth? I've got to play Everton now. What the hell is that? Leave to the physio. We're in the World Cl Club Championship. World Cl whatever it is, unbelievable! Wow, I can't believe what I've just watched. How on earth? How on earth? One of the one of the greatest moments in this channel's history, and hopefully you enjoyed watching that. Bloody hell. I can't believe it. We changed a few... <sighs> I can't believe it. So, we will play Liverpool over the weekend. It'll be off. Oh, my God. Okay, Everton to come next. Bloody... The... <sighs> Viewers, what I'm... I am in disbelief of what I've just watched there. That was sensational. We'll rest the boys as ever. But my God, my dearie me, how have we just pulled that off? 
it was gone i mean oh imagine if that i mean these teams don't don't exist but if they imagine that in real life imagine that wow okay a bow gets a big goal too as well ishmael comes off the bench <laughs> i can't believe it i'm in disbelief i don't you, you can probably tell all right onwards everton couple of days time the momentum we've got to carry into this now oh everton should be toast here toast i think our game in hand is probably the southampton game midweek of course there's two to go we can't win the league here but my word we can put ourselves in pole position if we win this with a game in hand oh dearie me liverpool have got it all to do again the battle now is domestic and on the european stage this is ridiculous no crash jumps please as the, as my weekly saves save please I, I i i beg i beg okay everything's replicating that would have been very very difficult into everton we go then as uh goodness <laughs> i can't believe it what a way to do it we're gonna we're gonna live come our way through i mean that the idea that we, we've gone behind there and we need two we need two goals if we've in the 89th minute we need two goals and they've got a corner like late on as well heavens above right Igonovic is going to come out then do it who comes in obviously um a bow struggling tom's going to play we're, we're going to we're going to bring a bow out for a game he needs the rest probably um even with the rest he still needs the rest that's how bad it is for him at the moment everyone else seems pretty good again randrup is an important part if you've not got a Igon Igonovic, sometimes i don't play either of them and we struggle but i think having one of them is good ishmael you've got to put him in after the high of scoring that last minute goal how can you not start him in the game against everson as here we go then progress we shall as holy smokes that was something wasn't it i mean we're kind of in a weird situation if we lose we can afford to lose by like one nil but obviously we don't want that here we go then into it liverpool playing their game away oh, sorry at home to swansea who are bottom of the league we can expect very little from them i suspect but you never know football does funny things doesn't it and um it's a it's an everton corner to kick things off headed clear surely this means a goal for us based on history as gill is there and he's got his man over and we play three up from corners offensively for this very reason viewers this round trip's driven i don't know cross come shot i don't know either way goes just wide i am exhausted uh thames losing to Man city what what a, what a few days for them blimey any drop points from liverpool here by the way and any win for us as liverpool do take the lead gomez who is a fantastic player gets the goal of course we know no matter what happens here that we have this game in hand versus southampton before a final game i think against tottenham on the final day but let's try and do our job here let's try and beat everton who i'm sure in a way want us to win just to prevent liverpool you know that's the way it works up there as uh, Ishmael's headed down is good and Randrup now if he can beat his man and get a ball into the center he takes him on easily as the ball drops oh my god it's gone in the wit the woo <laughs> celebrates like he scored a scream <laughs> he's doing roly polies in the corner um okay I don't, I don't know what's happened it's a calamity at the back for Everton an absolute shambles Randrup's caused it by running so far past this defender that defender is left for dead the ball played in it's hit the keeper it's hit the player I think he's volleyed it in by the end of it and we take the 1-0 lead. A little bit fortunate, but we'll take it. Man, this save is fun. There is something about AFC Thames, especially in the Premier League, where we've just got like this get up and go attitude that I've never seen us have before. I don't know. This is so weird. That, like Thames FC, that series ended in such sort of like restricted disappointment is the phrase I'm going to use. And that we were kind of like, oh, well, I guess the series is over as Randrup scores again. And we never quite did it. Whereas now... The moment, everything's just like falling into place. It feels like, man, the Champions League final is going to be wild. Okay, uh, we've got a 2 0 lead. Great news. This is just what we needed going into this one. Again, upping the goal difference here, boys. I'm just going to say it now would be good. So if there's, if there's goals to be had, let's have them. As Swansea have gone down to 10 men as well, not good news for us at all. That as DeWitt DeWoo is on a free kick. Can he, can, he, can he bang it in from there? Oh, my word. It's a great effort. I think it was going just wide. Evans saves it anyway. Behind for a corner. I'm concerned now that at Anfield, Liverpool are going to have the chance to really run up that goal difference. Oh, we've cannoned it off the post. Goodness me, I'm not even sure who that was. It happened so quickly. And another highlight. Well, you think about some of the highlightless games we've had recently against Thames. Certainly not a problem for this game as uh, they are coming thick and fast. As oh, I, Do you want there's something about being in September and loving Football Manager and knowing there's a new one coming out soon and no, new adventures to be had? And I've I announced on Twitter the other day that Glory Hunter returns to YouTube next year. So that's going to be really exciting as the ball played in. We need to make sure this game is, is definitely won as Ishmael has got some work to do from there, but he may well just do it. So yeah, so much good stuff to come soon. I'm, I'm, oh man, I'm loving... I'm loving this job at the moment, which is great because I've had a few months where I've not felt good about anything really. So to be so involved in this right now and feel so connected to everything 
is great. As I've just noticed, Liverpool take a 2 I'm very, I'm so locked in. Liverpool take a 2-0 lead in their game. But of course, we just kind of have to match what they're doing all the time and then win our game in hand. And then the position we're in, the strength we'll be in if we win that game in hand. Goodness me. Oh, oh, what a time to be alive. As uh, Eddie Elso into Tom. And again, I highlight the very start of the half. As I've told them, basically, keep doing what you're doing. As Ishmael's there, it's a good save from Evans. He's just offside. As uh, we're going to praise the boys. On a balanced approach as well, but we're still so threatening going forward. It's so good to watch. Of course, if Liverpool can extend their lead, there's a chance at the end of today they can go to the top of the league table. And with a 10-man Swansea side who sit at the bottom of the table, you've got to expect maybe Liverpool will do just that. But so far, as I say, we're doing our job here. The other sides, I don't even know what's going on in the battle for fourth or anything. I've got, I've got no idea. I'm so locked into that battle at the top where both of us have dropped so many points as well this season. Hopefully today and this game is not to be one of those moments, but it seems to be. There's been moments this year where later in games we have fallen apart. I'm hoping today again isn't one of those days as Ishmael finds his way through. It's a difficult shot, a difficult angle on his weaker foot. Makes it look easy. His 25th goal of the season. Ishmael, the loney from Real Madrid. Gives us the 3-0 advantage. And again, that goal difference ever so important. We don't need to see it again. It was so good. We only need to see it once. As, uh, <laughs> does that make sense? Ball played into the middle. Had a clear again. As Everton, you've got to say, for a team that are quite a few goals down here, are really trying to make the most of their possession. But it's not quite worked for them so far. Although that's a big chance. Jones with a very good save as it'll go behind for a corner kick. I'm so focused here on what Liverpool are doing. The goals they score are crucial. The three-goal margin we have right now is important. Again, if there were to be a slip-up against someone like Southampton, the goals that we score in this game could prove crucial. As Randrup somehow rides that challenge. Ishmael, I don't know how they've blocked that. Blimey, so close as they're going to bring this away. Uh, hopefully, we just defend this well okay we do defend it brilliantly actually that back, that back pass there was brilliant as it comes back out to this left hand side again everton not giving up just yet as uh, we're going to go slightly more cautious we are going to waste a little bit of time here and there uh and i think we all oh, they've got a they've got a free kick here we've got to be wary ball played to the back post still oh, blimey i keep flown across the goal to prevent that going in as all things right now are pretty good i've never seen so many highlights of the game that <laughs> fell over about 20 minutes ago they're forward again though Again, I'm kind of hoping that we can counter from these situations. Again, without a bow in this game, without a Gonovic, but got to say it, looking pretty good as that is going <laughs> to... I don't even know. It's all over the place. It's the collateral damage. There it is. Odea gets the goal. Um, again, we've gone cautious. We'll go back to, we'll go back to balance, and we'll lower our tempo a little bit and try and just restrict, you know, be more disciplined, play for set pieces, dribble less. I think if we can try and keep the ball here, waste quite a lot of time, then this game should be seen out without too much going on, which is fine with me um i don't really know what happens here that that clearance from eddie also hits one of our center backs and then gets a little bit of space on that left foot it's a really good finish after that you've got to say but um yeah so far liverpool get the, th the, the third as we concede as well so you can see the goal difference now goodness me four for liverpool they've leveled it up 47 47 which means our game against southampton actually now is massive win it we put ourselves in pole position anything but that and we're in trouble i think we end today as Champions League finalists and league leaders. I'll just make sure Liverpool didn't get a very late goal to put them on, onto the top of the table because it will put so much pressure on tomorrow's episode. As uh, if, as we take a look at it then, 4-0 winners, two late goals, could be crucial. That goal we didn't give ourselves because of, of the crash. <laughs> no, please, no. Everything's fine. Um, it will go to the final day. I don't know who Liverpool play. Let's do a little preview for tomorrow as Copenhagen get a little bit of money for Randrup. It, he's, he's earned that. Or they've earned that. Have I've earned that. Someone's earned it. Uh, let's take a look then. We play Tottenham. Final game of the season and our game in between against Southampton is, as mentioned a few times now, a game in hand. It's going to be big. On the final day then, Liverpool. Oh my God. Okay, Liverpool go... <laughs> I didn't know that. Go away to Thames FC as we battle against Tottenham. Both away from home. Both against London clubs both teams fighting for the final european place <laughs> i'll see you tomorrow if you enjoyed today make sure you drop a like on it for that first game if anything and i'll see you again for some more we love with care if you want to spend your next time look after yourselves back tomorrow even though it's a weekend keep an eye on everything there'll be videos oh my god